Hello friends, I'm not Jim Nance, I'm Kurt Berglund. This is Replay Baseball. We are working our way through the Diamond Decade sets. And this is the 1970s, the decade that, or the set that I've ignored a little bit uh, so far. And we're going to catch up on what's been happening in the 70s. Uh, today's game is between the 1978 New York Yankees, winners of 100 games and the World Series over the Dodgers. And they will be visiting the 1979 Baltimore Orioles, winners of 102 games and the American League pennant, before losing the World Series in seven games to the Pittsburgh Pirates. This is game two. In game one of their season... On opening day, it was Ron Guidry for the Yankees against Mike Flanagan for the Orioles, and Flanagan emerged a 3-2 winner in a battle of Cy Young uh, winners from each season. Uh, the Yankees scored in the top of the first inning on a double by Mickey Rivers and a sacrifice fly by Thurman Munson. They added another run in the second inning on a walk to Greg Nettles and an out later a uh, uh, walk by to uh, Frank or to uh, Roy White and then a single by Bucky Dent which scored Nettles. But the Orioles fought back and scored a run in the bottom of the second on a walk to Singleton and out later a single by Lee May and out later a single by Rich Dower that scored Singleton cut the lead to 2-1, to one. and then in the bottom of the third, the Orioles tied it on a single by Bumbry, a single by Renicky, a walk to Murray, and a sacrifice fly by Singleton. The Orioles went ahead for good in the bottom of the fifth inning when uh, Bumbry again singled, Renicky singled, Murray grounded into a double play, sending Bumbry to third, and then Singleton singled scoring Bumbry with the third and what proved to be winning run in the ball game. Uh, Tippy Martinez picked up a long save um, and the Orioles came up a winner in a very tight ball game. These two teams might be the two best teams in the diamond decades for the 70s and it wouldn't surprise me if when it comes to be tournament time, these two teams will meet again. Tonight, uh, the opposing pitchers for the Yankees will be right-hander Ed Figueroa against right-hander Jim Palmer. So I'm sure these two faced off many, many times in their careers as well. So with all of that as preamble, let's get to the starting lineups and roll some replay baseball Diamond Decades 1970s action. And here's a wonderful picture of Baltimore's Memorial Stadium circa 1979 for your viewing pleasure. All right, for the visiting 1978 Yankees. Leading off in center field, it's Mickey Rivers. Batting second, it's at second base, Willie Randolph. Batting third, behind the plate, Thurman Munson. Batting fourth in right field, Reggie Jackson. Batting fifth at first base, Chris Chambliss. Batting sixth at third base, Greg Nettles. Batting seventh, the DH, Lou Pinella. Batting eighth, the left fielder, Roy White. And batting ninth, it's shortstop, Bucky Dent. Ed Figueroa. In 1978, had 35 starts, 253 innings of work, a 2.99 ERA, and a 20 and 9 record for those Yankees as their number two starter. Here for the homestanding 1979 Orioles, it's Al Bumbry leading off in center field, John Lowenstein batting second in left field. Ken Singleton batting third in right field. Eddie Murray batting fourth at first base. Doug DeSensei batting fifth at third base. Lee May batting sixth and the DH. Rich Dower batting seventh. He is the uh, second baseman. Rick Dempsey batting eighth. He's doing the catching. And Kiko Garcia will start at shortstop and he will hit ninth today. Jim Palmer 
injuries in 1979, but he did get 22 starts, 156 innings, a 3.30 ERA, and a 10 and 6 record. All right, we are good to go in Baltimore at Memorial Stadium for this battle between these old American League East rivals. All right, so here we go. Mickey Rivers steps in against Palmer. And the first pitch is a 3-6. That's a 47 for Rivers. Plus 3 makes 50 in column 3. And that is a ground ball to Kiko Garcia. He collects it and fires to Murray. And there's one out in the top of the first. We're underway. Now it's Willie Randolph. 279 for Willie on the season. The pitch to him is a 1-6. That's a 45. Plus 3 makes 48. Hey, struck him out and two gone in the first inning. Palmer with that upstairs heat. Munson steps in now with two outs and nobody aboard. And that is a 6-4. That's a 58. Plus 2 makes 60. In column six, and that's going to be a single to left field for the Yankee captain. One on with two outs for Reggie Jackson coming. Reggie, 274 with 27 bombs on the season. The pitch is a 5-1. That's a 5. Plus two in column five makes seven. And that is ball four. Reggie draws a walk. There's two Yankees on with two outs for Chris Chambliss. Palmer in a little bit of a first inning mess. The stretch, the pitch to four is a 16. Plus four makes 20 in column two. That's hit to right field and Ken Singleton is under it. He will put it away for out number three and that's it for the Yankees. In the first inning, go to the bottom of the first, it'll be Bumbry, Lowenstein, and Singleton to face Figueroa. Good year for Bumbry, 336 on base. 1-3 is a 3, plus 3 more makes 6, and Figueroa strikes out Bumbry to get the game started in the bottom of the first. We get the proceedings started in the bottom of the first. Now it's Lowenstein. 2-6 is a 60. And this is going to be to left field. Roy White is a 3. Can he get there? No, he... Yes, he can. He's going to make the catch, and that's out number two. Now it's Ken Singleton with two outs and nobody aboard. 2 1 is a 50. A 4 is 50. Is 5 more. That's 55 in column two for Singleton. And that's grounded to Randolph. Willie throws it to Chambliss, and it's a 1-2-3 first inning for Figueroa. Figures to be a pitcher's battle tonight. We go to the second, and there's no score in Baltimore. Palmer back out. He will face Nettles, Pinella, and White in the Yankee second. Pitch 6-2 is a 9 for Nettles, plus 2 is Trouble. That is trouble. If it's a six, he got it all. He got it all right down the line. Nothing Singleton could do. Nettles goes deep, and he's left the building. 27 bombs on the season for Greg. It's one to nothing. Yankees. Palmer, or I'm sorry, Pinella facing Palmer, the pitch. 6-5 is a 31, plus 2 makes 33, and that's popped up. Rich Dower under it, 
and he'll take it for out number one in the top of the second. Now it's Roy White. Pitch to Roy from Palmer's a 2-4. That's a 16 plus 4 makes 20 in column two. That's to Singleton. He's going to come in a few steps and put it away for out number two. Now it's Dent with nobody on. Palmer winds. And delivers for three is a one. That's grounded to Murray. He's going to take it himself and finish the Yankees in the second. But they score one on a Greg Nettles home run right down the right field line. After one and a half, it's one nothing Yankees. It'll be Figueroa facing Murray to Sensei in May in the Baltimore second. Pitch to Eddie is a 5-4. That's a 1. Plus 2 makes 3. That's grounded to Randolph. Willie gloves it and throws to Chambliss for out number 1. Now it's to Sensei. Four, 4 for Doug is an 18. That's hit to short. That's Bucky Dent. Dent is a 2. He gloves it and fires to Chambliss for out number two. Two outs now in the bottom of the second. Nobody on. It's Lee May coming to the plate, the veteran. Pitch from Figueroa is a 3-2. That's a two. Plus four makes six in column three. That's to center field, and here comes Mickey Rivers. He's going to put it away for out number three. So, we have played two innings, and Figueroa has gone six up and six down. We go to the top of the third. It's one nothing Yankees. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's Mickey Rivers with Randolph on deck. 5-4 is a 27 on Mickey's card. Plus three makes 30 in column three. Here comes Al Bumbry over a few steps, and he'll make the catch for out number one in the third. Now it's Randolph. Pitch to Willie is a 1-6. That's a 45. Plus four makes 49. Hey, struck him out. Second strikeout for Randolph. And second strikeout for Palmer. There's two gone in the third now. And here comes Thurman Munson. The wind and the pitch from Palmer is a 2-5. That's a 16 plus 4 makes 20 in column 2. And that one is another chance for Singleton in right field. And he's going to put it away for out number 3. So Palmer's first 1-2-3 inning comes in the top of the third. He has retired six in a row. And after two and a half, it's the Yankees one and the Orioles nothing. As the Yankees try to even... Their record at one and one. Dower, Dempsey, and Garcia, bottom third of the Orioles order. In the Orioles, bottom of the third. Five, five is a 15 on Dower's card, plus two. Make 17 in column five. That's chopped on the infield. That's off Figueroa's glove. It rolls toward Dent. He cannot make a play, and... Dower is on with an infield hit. Here comes Dempsey. Double play target. Figure all the stretch and the pitch. One foul, one four is a 35. Plus three makes 38. This one is grounded to Nettles. Greg goes to Randolph for one. The relay to Chambliss is a rally killing, soul crushing double play. Turned by the Yankees, and there will be two outs and nobody on for Kiko Garcia. His first time up against Figueroa. 2-6 is one of those loopers. One of those loopers. It's going to center field. See if Rivers can get there, and he won't. Going to drop for a hit. And Garcia is aboard with the second Orioles safety. Bumbry comes up now. 0 for 1 for Al. 
four six is a five. <clears throat> it's hit to Bucky Dent. He collects it and throws to Chambliss, and that retires Bumbry and the Orioles in the third. We've played three complete now, and it's Yankees one, Orioles nothing. Two very, very evenly matched teams. Jackson up now, Chambliss, and then Nettles, four, five, and six hitters in the Yankee order to face Jim Palmer. Pitch to Reggie is a 3-3. Three, three. It's going to be a, a hit chance. Two on Palmer's card. Twenty-two is a one. And that's going to be tapped out in front of the plate. Rick Dempsey grabs it and fires to Eddie Murray for out number one in the fourth. Here comes Chambliss. Chris is 0 for 1. 3-5 is a 30 on Chambliss's card. Plus 2 from Palmer's makes 32 in column 3. That's a comebacker that Jim grabs. He takes a few steps toward Eddie Murray and then flips him the ball. There's 2 gone in the top of the 4th. And now it's Nettles. Greg homered his first time up and this one's trouble. 6-3 is a 16, plus 2 makes 18. That's going to drive Lowenstein back to the wall, but he's got room, and he does make the catch. Nine in a row retired for Palmer. We played three and a half. It's one nothing Yankees. Figueroa comes out for the bottom of the fourth to face Lowenstein, Singleton, and Murray, the two, three, four hitters in Earl Weaver's lineup. Lowenstein 0 for 1. The pitch is a 1-6. That's a 45 plus 4. Makes 49 in column 1. Hey, struck him out. And that's two strikeouts for Figgy. One gone in the fourth. Now it's Singleton. Ken Singleton is 0 for 1. Figueroa's pitch is a 3-5. That's going to be maybe trouble. We got two coming off Figueroa's card. It's a 56. And that's going to be four. And that's a total of six. And that's to center field. And that's going to be Mickey Rivers. Two gone in the Oriole fourth, and now it's Murray. Pitch to Eddie is a 5-2. That's a 45 plus 4 makes 49 in column 5. That is a fly ball to center field. Rivers one more time, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Figueroa, his third of the night. We go to the fifth, and it's still one nothing Yankees on the strength of that Greg Nettles home run in the second inning. Palmer will face the bottom third of the Yankee order. Pinella, White, and Dent in the top of the fifth. Jim winds and delivers. 5-4 is a 27 plus 2. Makes 29 in column, three, column 5, and that is hit to center. Bumbry is under it. And he puts it away for out number one in the fifth. Ten in a row retired by Palmer. Only two safeties in the game, but one of them was a home run by Nettles. The pitch to White is a 3-3. Three, three. We had a five. We had three for coming from Palmer's card. See if White can get on. 45 is a three. And that will be caught by Bumbry. 11 in a row retired, and here's Dent with two outs and nobody aboard for the Yankees. Palmer in a groove. 6-1, six, 16, plus 3, makes 19 in column 6. To right field, going to drive Singleton back a few steps, but he will have room, and he does put it away. We are halfway through this one. 12 in a row retired by Palmer now. 
It's one nothing Yankees as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Figueroa also has given up two hits in this game. And he has a string of four retired in a row. Desensei leading off the bottom of the fifth. He's 0 for 1. The pitch is a 6-3. That's a 31. Plus 2 makes 33. And column 6 popped him up. Randolph under it. And he puts it away on the infield dirt for out number 1. Now it's Lee May. 79 Orioles are one of the few teams I have in this diamond decades carrying only nine pitchers. Four or five is a one. That's grounded to Dent. Bucky collects it and fires to Chambliss for two outs in the bottom of the fifth. And now it's Dower. Dower singled back in the third for the Orioles' first hit. 2-4 is a 16, plus 5 is 21 in column 2. White comes in and makes a nice catch. That retires the Orioles in the 5th. Figueroa has 7 in a row retired now. We got a good one in Baltimore. This one is going to be tight the whole way, I think. Rivers, Randolph, and Munson, the one, two, three hitters in the top of the sixth. If you're wondering about stamina, Palmer has faced 18 batters in five innings. He can go 28 before fatigue becomes a, an issue or a potential issue. Rivers in there now. The pitch from Jim is a one, six. That's a 45 plus four. Makes 49. Hey, struck him out, and that's strikeout number three for Palmer. One gone in the sixth. Now it's Randolph. Willie is 0 for 2, a pair of Ks. 1-1 one, one is a 15, plus 6 makes 19 in column 1. And it's chopped on the infield. Going to be a chance for Kiko Garcia. He makes the throw. It's late. Randolph beats it out. Murray blocks the throw from getting into foul territory. So it's an infield single for Randolph. He's aboard. And now it's Munson. Munson up with one out. Randolph at first. Jackson on deck. Palmer, the stretch, and the pitch to Thurman. There goes Randolph, and the hit and run is on. Hit and run for Palmer is the red die, and that's a four. Four. Two on Munson's hit and run is a 33, so that makes 37. And that pitch is in the dirt, blocked by Dempsey, but Randolph steals second without a throw. So now Randolph is in scoring position for Munson to drive in if he can. Palmer facing Munson, who is one for two. The pitch to Thurman is a four six. That's a three. It's hit to Dower. And Rich will make the play to Murray for the out. Randolph advances to third. There's two outs now for Reggie Jackson. First base is open, so is second base. Chambliss is on deck. Palmer the stretch, and the pitch to Reggie. That's a 2-6, and that could fall in. Center field, Bumbry is a 4 And he's going to get there, and that retires the Yankees. So Randolph gets on, steals second, advances to third on a ground out, but cannot score. The Yankees cling to a one nothing lead after five and a half. Dempsey, Garcia, and then the top with Bumbry. 
against Figueroa. 8-9-1 hitters for Baltimore. Dempsey is a 7. Plus 2 from Figueroa is 9. That's a base hit to center field. Dempsey's on. Rick Dempsey is aboard. Now it's Kiko Garcia. It's the bottom of the six. There's nobody out. And Dempsey is at first base. Kiko Garcia is one for one. Figueroa the stretch, the pitch to Kiko. He's not bunting. 5-3 is a 6, plus 1 is a 7 in column 5. He walked him. That's going to get a few things happening. For one, it's going to start the Yankee bullpen. <sighs> going to be... Sparky Lyle and Raleigh Eastwick throwing. Lefty-righty double-barreled action, and here comes Bumbry. Good bunt here. <clears throat> Figueroa of the stretch, nobody out. Bottom of the six. He's not bunting. Four-four is a two. It goes to Randolph. Willie goes to Dent for one. The relay to Chambliss is a rally-killing, soul-crushing double play turned by the Yankees as Dempsey gets to third base now with Lowenstein up and two outs. Singleton is on deck. one nothing New York. Figueroa the stretch. And the pitch to Lowenstein is a 5-6. That's a 4 Plus two, make six, and he walked him. He walks Lowenstein. There's Orioles at the corners now, and Singleton coming to the plate. Murray is on deck, pair of switch hitters. First and third, two outs. I'm gonna keep with Figueroa for now. Figgy to the stretch and the pitch. 4-1 is a two. That's hit to Chambliss. He's gonna take it himself and that will retire the side in the sixth. Whew, the Orioles threaten but do not score. One hit, they leave one. After six complete, it's one nothing Yankees with Chambliss, Nettles, and Pinella coming up. Five, six, seven hitters coming up in the bottom or in the top of the seventh. We're in Baltimore. The Yankees lead one nothing. Palmer winds and delivers to Chambliss. It's a four six. That's a five, and it's grounded to Dower. He gloves it and plants and throws to Murray. One gone. Now it's Nettles, who is responsible for all of the scoring with his solo home run back in the second. One for two. Pitch from Palmer is a 1-5. That's a three. And three. A struck him out. That's strikeout number four. Palmer's only allowed three hits, but one of them was a home run. Pinella with two outs and nobody aboard in the Yankee seventh. Lou is 0 for 2, the pitch. 6-3 is a 31, plus 1 makes 32 in column 6. That's popped up. Doug DeSensei is under it, and he puts it away for out number 3. We go to the 7th inning stretch, where that taxi cab driver is going to do the O-R-I-O-L-E-S thing on top of the Orioles' dugout. And they're going to sing, Thank God I'm a Country Boy. And what that has to do with the Baltimore Orioles, with John Denver singing, I don't know. Your guess on that one is as good as mine. And if you know more, tell me about it in the comments, because I don't get it. All right, so bottom of the seventh. 
Eddie Murray, Doug DeSensei, Lee May against Ed Figueroa. Who's throwing a three-hit shutout? Figueroa has walked two, and he has struck out two. Murray is 0 for 2. The pitch is a 20, plus 4 is a 24 in the 1 column, and that is a line drive base hit center field. Is Mickey Rivers going to boot it? No, he's not. It's a base hit for Murray. And the Orioles have the tying run on in the bottom of the seventh. Now it's to Sensei. He's not a bunter. 0 for 2. The figure of the stretch. The pitch to Doug is a 3-3. Three, three. That's a 5. Plus 4 makes 9 in column 3. That is a base hit to right field. Reggie Jackson, his arm is going to be tested. It is a three. Murray's running is a three. That puts us at zero for the third base coach, who is Cal Ripken Jr. And let's see if he goes to, th if Murray's gonna try for third, it's a four. No, he's not. He holds up at second. So the Orioles have runners at first and second with nobody out for Lee May. The Lyle and Eastwick tandem is throwing again in the bullpen. May is 0 for 2 and certainly a double play candidate. Figure out this is his 24th man. The pitch to May. 5-1 is a 4. Plus 1 is a 5. That is grounded to Nettles. Greg goes to Randolph for 1. The relay to Chambliss is not in time. May beats the Rapid first. Murray advances to 3rd. And the Orioles now have runners at the corners with 1 out. For Dower. So the Yankees will play the corners in halfway up the middle and see what happens. Figure out the stretch and the pitch to Dower is a 3 6. That's a 42. Plus 2 makes 42 44 in column 3, and it's a comebacker. To Figueroa. But it's to Figueroa. So I'm saying May Murray will hold it third. May advances to second. And Figueroa throws out Dower at first. So the runners are at second and third now for Dempsey in the bottom of the seventh. Rick is one for two. Bob Lemon, the Yankee manager, is on the top step of the dugout, but he's going to figure out. Dempsey, the batter, the pitch, is nothing but trouble. This is a 6-6. Six, six. We got two coming from Figueroa. Let's see if Dempsey got enough. 15 is a 6. So, two makes eight. That is a base hit. There are two outs. Murray scores from third. May will score from second. It's 2-1 Baltimore on a two-run single by Rick Dempsey. And here comes Bob Lemon. He left Ed Figueroa in. One batter too long. 2-1 Baltimore. Crowd going nuts. That taxi driver is up on the dugout again, spelling out Orioles, and I still don't get it. All right, Figueroa goes six and two-thirds innings. He allows six hits. Uh, to this point, <clears throat> excuse me, to, 
<clears throat> excuse me, to this point, two runs, both earned, two walks. He has struck out two. No home runs, no hit by pitch, no wild pitch. New pitcher is Raleigh Eastwick. He will face Kiko Garcia. Eastwick is a right-hander, 30 games in 1978 and 65 innings pitched. All right. 374 ERA, four and two record. Garcia at the plate, Dempsey at first, two men out. Oop. The pitch to Kiko is a 6-3, that's a 36, plus 3 makes 39 in column 6. Hey, struck him out. Eastwick comes in and does the job. But the Orioles score 2 and take a one-run lead. We go to the 8th, and the Orioles are leading 2-1. to one. Yankees have some work to do, and they have six outs to do it in. The 8-9-1 hitters are up in the 8th for the Yankees. White, Dent, and Rivers. Palmer working on a three-hitter. He has faced 25 batters. The Orioles' bullpen is going to get going. It's going to be... Stoddard and Stanhouse. Getting ready for Earl Weaver. White, 0 for 2. The pitch to Roy is a 6-2. That's an 8 plus 2. And Palmer's card is a 10. And that's a base hit right back up the middle. White is aboard with a single. Dent is due and is being called back to the dugout. Pinch hitter coming for the Yankees. Boy, the Yankee bench. It's going to be Gary Thomason, left-handed hitting outfielder to bat for Dent. In the eighth, he hit 223 with a 304 on base percentage. Yikes. Palmer, the stretch. The pitch to Thomason is a 5 6. That's a 2. Plus 4 makes 6. And that's ball 2 because we have a runner at first, and that's White. Palmer's pitch to Thomason is a 1 1. That's a 1. And three more from Palmer's card makes four. He struck him out. And that's strikeout number five for Jim. Now it's Rivers. One out in the eighth. Pitch to Mickey is a 5-2. That's a 27. Plus one makes 28. That's hit to Singleton. And Ken's going to get there for out number... Two, and now it's Randolph with Munson on deck. Willie is one for three. A pair of strikeouts and a stolen base on his ledger. Palmer, the stretch, the pitch home. Three, six is a 42, plus two is 44 in column three. That is a line shot caught by Garcia, and that will retire the Yankees in the eighth. Two to one, Orioles, as we go to the bottom of the eighth. New Yankee pitcher coming on will be Sparky Lyle. Eastwick went one third of an inning, got a strikeout. You can close the book on Figueroa. Two runs, both earned. He is in line for the loss if something doesn't change. Sparky Lyle, displaced as closer, as full-time closer, by Rich Gossage in 78, 59 games, 112 innings, 
347 ERA, 9 and 3 record with 9 saves. Bumbry leads off. Al is 0 for 3. The pitch from Sparky Lyle to Bumbry. 4 5 is a 3. That's grounded in Nettles. Greg has it and fires to Chambliss for 1 out. Now it's Lowenstein. And. Yeah, Earl Weaver's going to go to his bench. It's going to be Renicky batting for Lowenstein. Gossage is getting up in the Yankee bullpen. So Lowenstein's day is done. He's 0 for 2 with a walk and a whiff. Renicky will doubtless go in to play left field. Lyle winds and delivers to Renicky. That's a 6-1. That's a 16. Plus one more from Lyle's card. Makes 17. That's to left and deep. Driving white to the track. He's got it for out number two. Ooh-wee. One more biscuit for breakfast, and Renicky goes out of here. Singleton up now with Murray on deck. Ken is 0 for 3. Lyle winds and delivers for 6 is a 1. 6 is to second base. That's Willie Randolph. He flips to Chambliss, and the side is retired in 1 2 3 fashion. So we go to the ninth. Stoddard and Stanhouse still working for Earl Weaver in the bullpen. Renicky is the new left fielder. Jim Palmer back out on an extremely short leash. Four hitter for Jim. It's the three, four, five hitters up for the Yankees in the ninth. They need a run to keep it going, and they need two to take the lead. Two to one, Baltimore. Munson is one for three. Here comes Thurman, the pitch. Two six is one of those loopers. It's to left field. Renicky on the run. I just checked his numbers. He's a four. Twenty-four, and he's going to get there. Four out, number one. That'll bring up Reggie. Palmer needs two more outs for the complete game. The pitch to Reggie is 0 for 2 with a walk. Pitch to Reggie is a 5-3. That's an 8. Plus 4 is... I'm sorry. Yeah, plus four from Palmer's card is a 12. And he hits Reggie. He, he dots Mr. October. And Reggie will take his base. That's going to bring up Chambliss. And that's going to do it for Palmer. Here comes Earl Weaver. Eight and a third innings for Jim. Four hits. One run so far. It was on a home run by Nettles. He hit one batter. He walked one and struck out five. He is in line for the win. If Sandhouse can close it. Don Stanhouse, 52 games, 73 innings, 285 earned run average, 7-3 and three record, 21 saves for Stan, the man unusual. Two outs in the ninth, Chambliss and then Nettles will be up. Reggie is at first, there's one out, Chambliss is 0 for 3, the pitch. 2-2 two, two is an 11, that makes Four makes 15. That's a large W. And that is a walk. So, Chambliss goes to first. 
Reggie goes to second. There's one man out. Now it's Nettles. Running for Chambliss will be Blair. Oh my gosh. Paul Blair got a horrible running rating. Mm. So running for Chambliss is going to be Fred Stanley. No, you won't because it's the same. All right, so nobody can run on the Yankee bench. All right, so two on, one out for Nettles. Stoddard still throwing in the bullpen in case Earl Weaver can't take any more, or in case he runs out of Chesterfield. One out, ninth inning, Jackson at second, Chambliss at first, Nettles at the plate. He's already homered once, the pitch. Oh, my God. A 6-1 is an 8 for Nettles, plus 3. Let's see if he got it. It's a base hit for Nettles. A base hit. Runners advance one base. Oh, man. But they cannot send Reggie. He's only a 3. They're going to hold Reggie at third. The bases will be loaded for Pinella. I can't do this anymore with Stanhouse, so Weaver's coming out to get him, and it's going to be Stoddard. The rest of the way for Stanhouse. It's Tim Stoddard, 29 games, 58 innings, a 171 ERA, 3 and 1 record, 3 saves. Infield is a double play depth for Pinella. On deck is White, one out. The pitch, 5-1 is a 1, 3 is a 3. That is a ground ball to Dower. Dower goes to Garcia at second for 1. The relay to Murray is not in time. The tying run scores. Reggie is in. The lead run in Chambliss goes to third. Nettles is retired going to second. Pinella is safe at first. Two outs. Yankees at the corners. They have tied the game. Roy White is up. One for three for Roy. You can close the book on Palmer. Two runs, both earned. He cannot win the game. First and third, White at the plate. Stoddard, the stretch, the pitch to White is a 5-1. That's a four plus 4K, and that is a walk. Base is loaded, and now Fred Stanley's going to come to the plate. He entered the game last inning after Thomason pinch hit for Dent. Alrighty. Rivers on deck. Bases loaded. Stanley at the plate. Two outs. Top of the ninth. It's 2-2. Two -two. Gossage heating up in the bullpen. Rivers on deck. Stanley is the ball game at this point. Stoddard winds and delivers. 1-4 is a 35. Plus 1 is a 36. Ground ball to Sensei. He's going to take it to third all oh, by his lonesome and retire the Yankees in the ninth. We go to the bottom of the ninth. 2-2 two, two in Baltimore. No defensive changes needed for the Yankees. Sparky Lyle back out for Baltimore for the Yankees to pitch to Baltimore. Murray, DeSensei, and May, the four, five, and six hitters are up for Baltimore. Gossage is ready in the bullpen. Lyle's pitch to Murray is a five, three. That's a five plus two makes seven, and that is ball four. So Murray is on. 
Now it's to Sensei, who again is not a bunter. That's going to do it for Lyle. Here comes Bob Lemon. He wants Gossage. Lyle goes one inning, walks a batter, no other numbers so far, although Murray at first is his responsibility. Gossage faces DeSensei, then Lee May. Pitch to Doug. Gossage is a stretch. The pitch home is a 2-5. That's a 16. Plus 1 makes 17. Gives us an asterisk. And he hits it to center field. Under it is Rivers, and there's one out. Now it's Lee May. No action in the Yankee bullpen. May is being called back to the dugout by Earl Weaver. And we're going to see... We're going to see Terry Crowley hit for May. One out, Murray at first, Crowley 317, 61 games, 63 at bats in 79. Gossage the stretch, checks Murray at first, the pitch home. 6-1 is a 31, plus 4 is a 33 in column 6, that is popped up. Randolph under it, just into the outfield grass, puts it away for out number 2. Now it's Dower. Dower is being called back. It's going to be Pat Kelly to bat for Rich Dower. Dempsey is on deck. Kelly. 288 with a 367 on base average and 79 is hitting for Dower. Dower finishes the night one for three. The pitch from Gossage is a 6 1. That's a 16 plus two makes 18. No, that's not right. It's a right handed batter, right handed pitcher. No, that's right. 6 1 is a 16 plus three is 18. That is followed by a K. And that means he struck him out with the old broccoli cauliflower medley gas. We're going to have a, an extra inning ball game today. We're going to the 10th. Tied at two between these two heavyweights of the 1970s American League. Stoddard comes back out. Some defensive changes for the Orioles. It's going to be Billy Smith taking over at second base. And Stoddard stays in. Okay, Rivers will lead off. It's the top of the order for the Yankees in the 10th. We're tied at two. All right, Stoddard in there. He winds and delivers to Rivers. 2-6 is one of those loopers. It's right field this time. And Singleton isn't fast. Uh, it drops. He is a two, I'm virtually certain. He is a two, and it drops. Single for Rivers, he's aboard, and now it's Randolph. 
Stoddard's hold is a two. Rivers' jump is a four. Randolph up there now. Try for the jump. He gets the jump. And Randolph takes the first pitch, and there goes Mickey. It's an eight. And it's POE, which means, of course, that we have to stop what we're doing and read the Raven. Possible error on the pickoff attempt. Stoddard is not a talented defender. The pit, the error is in the dirt. And Murray blocks it, but it rolls away. Rivers is going to take second on the error by Stoddard on the, the pickoff throw. So Rivers is to second with nobody out, and now it's Randolph. A lot of options here. Munson is on deck. Stoddard, the stretch. The pitch to Randolph. The corners are going to move in. The pitch to Randolph. And he squares to bunt, and that might be trouble. He popped up. No, he didn't. He didn't. He did not. That is bunted hard at DeSensei. Here comes Mickey, and he runs right into DeSensei's tag. So Randolph reaches. Rivers is retired on a fielder's choice, and Randolph takes over at first base. Now it's Munson. Reggie on deck, Stoddard the stretch. Munson's one for four. And there goes Randolph, and the hit and run is on. The hit and run is on with Thurman Munson. The hit and run result is a two for on Stoddard's card. And it's an 11 on Munson's card, making 13. The blue die is odd, and so it's fouled off. Foul ball. Stoddard the stretch again, the pitch to Thurman. And I'm dropping dice left and right. It's a 1-1, one, one. that's a 10. And one more makes 11. That's a base hit up the middle. And Randolph is around second. He's going to go to third with his speed. So it's first and third for the Yankees with one out and Reggie up there. Stoddard laboring. Reggie, 0 for 2, a hit by pitch, and he scored the tying run and a walk. And he scored the tying run in the ninth inning. First and third, infield in everywhere. The pitch to Reggie is a 2 3, that's a 2. Plus 1 from Stoddard. Hey, struck him out, and a good time for Stoddard's first K. Two outs now, men at the corners for Chambliss. Lead run 90 feet away. Stoddard, the stretch. Chambliss, 0 for 3 with a walk. The pitch, 5 2 is a 27. Plus 3 is a 30 in column. Three, 5, that's hit to center field. Bumbry on the run. Bumbry on the run. Bumbry on the run. He's going to get there. And that will retire the Yankees in the 10th. So Stoddard contributes one and two-thirds innings to the cause, allows two hits, no runs, walks one, strikes out one, and can't, well, he could get the win if the Orioles can put one across now. Gossage back out. Dempsey, Garcia, and Bumbry. 8-9-1 coming up for Baltimore in the 10th. Dempsey's 2 for 3. The pitch from Gossage is a 4-1. That's a 2. That's to Chambliss. He's going to take it himself. And there's one gone. Now it's Kiko Garcia. 
He won't bat. Benny Ayala coming out. To bat for Garcia. Gossage winds and delivers to the right-handed pinch hitter. That's a 3-1. That's a 31. Plus one is a 32 in column three. And that's to right field. Reggie's going to get there. And that's two outs. Bumbry up. Gossage winds and delivers 5-5 five, five is a 15, plus 3 is an 18, and column 3, chopper off Gossage's glove. Rolls towards Stanley, everybody's safe, Bumbry's on. Bumbry is on, and Renicky comes up. Renicky is 0 for 1. Gossage's hold is a 3. Bumbry's jump is a five. Renicky takes. Bumbry's going. He is a C stealer. And that's a four. That's a plus. If the blue die is higher than the catcher's rating, Munson fires down. And Munson does not get him. Stolen base, Bumbry. Orioles winning run is 180 feet away. Renicky's behind on the count 0 and 1. Singleton on deck. First base open. Two outs. Gossage the stretch. Checks Bumbry. The pitch home to Renicky is a 6 4. That's an 8. We got two more coming from Gossage. Let's see what happens here. Right in a batter. 42, that's an 8. Plus 2 from Gossage makes 10. That's a base hit to center field. Rivers charging, gloves it, throws toward Munson. Not in time. Bumbry scores the winning run in the bottom of the 10th. Orioles win 3-2 for the second day in a row. Orioles win 3-2 over the 78 Yankees. The winning pitcher is Tim Stoddard. The losing pitcher is Rich Gossage. In one and two-thirds innings, Gossage gives up two hits. One run, it was earned. Bumbry singled in the 10th with two outs. Stole second and was scored on a single by Renicky to walk off this game. So, the record's now for the... These two ball clubs, the 79 Orioles are 2 and 0, the 78 Yankees 0 and 2. With a pair of 3 to 2 games in the first two games of the Diamond Decade season. A lot of fun, man, alive. These were good games. Thank you for joining me. I'm Kurt Berglund. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a wonderful evening. So long, everybody.